Is so looking I, for... this is this is where I get stuck, though, Mike. Am I then supposed to say, well, no one wants to come to Seattle, so I guess I'll settle for uh, like C-list guys, or no, I guess I'll settle for drafting and development? Then what do you do? You, you draft, develop, and trade. You say, okay, if I if I've offered Trevor Story more money, and he says no, I won't come there. I don't want to go there. I'm being offered less money in Boston. I'd rather go there. You say, okay, this is not an approach that regularly works for us. By the way, when you get it wrong as the Padres have, as the Phillies have. Well, you get it right as the Rangers have. As the have. Mets have. The Rangers were awful last year, and we'll see how right it is when it's all said and done. Look at how right it is. They're leading the league in run differential. In what month is it? June. You think that it's too early to say the Rangers are good? Oh, I don't think the Rangers are that good. You I think, think the, the Rangers, Rangers are, are not going to be. You think this is flukish? I think the Rangers are better, obviously, than they were last year. If the Mariners were leading Jeff the league, Jeff Passan already tried to convince him, Stacey, it's useless. I think that you're convincing yourself <laughs> is what you're doing that the Rangers aren't I, real and I, that the Mariners still have time to essentially be the Rangers. And I think if the Mariners were doing what the Rangers were, you would be saying this looks like they could be a World Series. I team. think last year the Rangers were terrible, and everyone looked at it and and, and said, "Well, you spent all this money and you were terrible." This year they are you're definitely only finding better. Finding examples of teams that have spent and have failed. Okay. Or have spent and have struggled. Yes. Yeah, but the Rangers are succeeding. But these are the this teams year, so that, that, that everybody mean? told me off season the Mariners needed to be like. Why aren't you like the Phillies? Well, the Phillies are terrible. Why aren't you like the Padres? The Padres are a disaster. The Phillies and the have problem also is, like been able to make it to a World Series, been able to make it to the, the Phillies an sort of like struggled and then ended up falling into a World Series so last don't year. Don't you want to see a team try? Yeah, but I think they are trying. They're just not trying the way you want them to. That's not true. I think that, well, actually it is. I think that they are <laughs> trying. I think that, and, and here's the thing. I get so many people complaining when when we're on air. Stacy, you're so negative. Oh, my God. Stacy, they have a great team. I'm not saying, I, I'm saying that multiple things are true. This is, this is the most excited I've been about a Mariners team in my entire adult life. Mm-hmm. The most excited I've been about a Mariners team. This is some of the most fun I've had watching games. Last season was the most fun I've ever had as a as a Mariners fan because I was a little too young and, and not as into sports in, mm-hmm. in the 90s, in the early 90s. Okay, so that, that doesn't mean that's not true. Like, I'm very excited with what they've been able to do. I would just, I just also have a frustration and a, a hurt that is unique to people that have grown up here. Mm-hmm. I've spent 20 I spent the 21 years watching this team not in the playoffs. So right. that's what I'm all I'm saying is that there is a unique a, a frustration and kind of like a pain that is unique to Mariners fans that when people say I just want this team to do more it's because you're the only club that hasn't been in a World Series. Mm-hmm. And I think that when people hear stuff like, well, draft and develop and you'll get there eventually, there is a very understandable lack of faith people have. And it's not necessarily Jerry DePoto's fault. It's not anyone else's fault. It's just the way that it is because you've watched multiple iterations of this team. Jerry DePoto hasn't been overseeing this for 20 years. Jerry DePoto didn't even get the entirety of his tenure to start the rebuild. He had to wait until he was a couple years in. Mm-hmm. I recognize that. Fans are smart. This fan base is smart. They recognize that. This fan base is also frustrated and, and is also incredibly loyal. And it's been going to these games. And I think what people are afraid of is seeing this organization and this franchise do what it's always done, which is tease an appearance, tease two or three appearances, and then disappear altogether from the playoffs. Mm -hmm. This has been a team that's been in the postseason, what, five times? Like, that's important history that you can't ignore. So when you talk about team building, there's this abstract way we talk about team building where we say, look, you got to be a World Series. You got to have great pitching. Check. Thank God. Great, one of the hardest things to found, and they have it in spades, right? Uh, you want to draft and develop because that's the way that really successful teams like the Braves and the Astros have done it. I'd rather be the Braves and the Astros than be the Padres for sure. Check. There's this logical part of you that knows that, but then there's this emotional part of you that just wants to see them win. Mm-hmm. And that's the part that I think when I talk to you about it and, and maybe when some fans talk to you and, and you're trying to reason with us, sometimes you can't reason with that kind of pain. Well, that's fine, but I'll take being reasonable over being emotional in this case because ultimately... Baseball's emotional. Sure, but ultimately being a general manager, building a team, building a roster is much more and Jerry's talked to us about this. He's got to keep his head above that and think of about course. the 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 hard facts of it. But I'm not a general manager. I got to okay. be a fan. Well, I get to say you for feeling that yeah. way, but I I I I think where it gets challenging for me is the criticism of saying, well, why didn't they do this that and the other but because but, but I think because when you they look at can't the offense, that way. but when you look at the offense, I think it is completely fair to say why didn't they add another bat? Mhm. It is, and they know that. 
They should have added another bat. Yeah. Nobody doesn't think they should have added one more bat. Totally agree. They should have added one more bat. Yeah. And what do you think the difference would be if they had? If they had? I mean, I think they'd be marginally better and would still need improvement from within. I think they would be almost exactly the same. Yeah, they, they would be very marginally better. Maybe they'd be one or two more wins. But I don't think that they would be like eight games over 500 because they think, added one more bat. I don't think, the guys they have haven't hit. No, I know. And like, I, don't think anyone's, do? I don't think anyone's looking at the squad going, hey, the real problem with this team is Sam Haggerty. <laughs> I don't think anyone's saying that, but I do think that you look at the production from second base and DH and go even marginal would improvements be, would help. Would be, absolutely because you also have help. faith that Julio is going to improve. And instead and he of has being been. two games over 500, they'd be three games over 500. Because if Eugenio Suarez and Julio Rodriguez, if those guys don't hit, you're not going to be very good. Like I, those guys have to hit. That's what you built your team on. I wish we would and have if they don't about hit, they don't get to win. Vanderpump rules because I feel like we wouldn't be fighting. Like I know. This. Well, I was surprised by the fighting <laughs> as well. Anyway, that, I think there was some leftover re- residual bitterness for you after being compared to Tom. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Sandoval. Sandoval. Yeah, you don't even I can know sense who he is, some of the and anger. You, you prompted people to make photoshops of me in a mustache. I know. I still had great bone structure. And haunting my dreams. <laughs> yeah. It looks a little like Chris Bryant, too. Does I'm it yeah. make you want to maybe grow a mustache? A little bit. Have you thought about that? Now I've it's tried. kind of a thing. I've been trying all really? week. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm making progress, but I am trying my best. All right. Well, I love Michael Bumpus, and uh, you can catch his show Thank you. with, uh, what's her? Oh, Stacy is with her in, me. Uh, at uh, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, I yeah. think, is when uh, when they start. Stacy's fine. Bump's very, very good. And uh, you can hear that kind of passion come through between uh, 10 and 2 every single day. Thanks, Stacy. Thank you.